<clears throat> what is going on, everybody? Saturday night, Dragon Ball Super episode 128. Uh, we're coming down to it. I think we have, what, three episodes left after this one? So four in total. Uh, we're running out, and we have a lot that kind of needs to be wrapped up here. I'm interested to see how quick they rush it, um, what all they include. Uh, I've seen a lot of spoilers going around this week that I've been trying to sidestep and dodge. Um, and I've seen a lot of screenshots of images and all this stuff. Um, just scrolling through timelines. You know when you're not looking for stuff, but stuff pops up anyway. Um, so I hope a lot of it wasn't true, and so I'm not spoiled, but we'll see. Um, episode 128, we came off of last episode, which I mean, oh man, just absolutely crazy, and it, it was a great episode. They put out like a good four episodes in a row that have just been straight fire, straight bangers, um, and in my opinion, we lost the best fighter of the entire tournament for any team, Android 17, um, yeah, and it was just a good time, so we'll see how it goes. We are pressing play on episode 128, right. No. Um, yeah, and hopefully they just keep going fire after fire. I really hope that... I just hope that the it doesn't end the same way it always does, which is... Um, oh, hold on. It's coming up here. Um, I just hope it doesn't end the way it always does, which is... Goku being the last fighter standing and him like coming to the rescue, saving the day... I would rather them fusion dance it up or pop some earrings in than Goku, like, being the last one standing type thing. Because then, like, you'd already know how that's going to end. Um, but I have a feeling, given by, like, the spoilers that I've accidentally come across and seen, that it, it'll it probably end that way. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, my best case scenario is, I mean, clearly we know that they don't have anything strong enough for Jiren right now. So it's either going to take a fusion or the time runs out. Those are the only two other things. Oh, a fusion, time runs out, or somebody gets a new transformation. We know, sadly, that it's not going to be Vegeta. Everyone's like, oh, Vegeta finally got his moment when he took out Topa. I don't think Vegeta finally got his moment. It was a great moment. It was a cool moment. Um, but Vegeta always... It's always number two. He's always taking out number two, like the boss before they're in their final form, like taking out Cell before he was in his final form, like doing all these things before it's the end. Even in the movie, Vegeta didn't get to take out Frieza. Goku got to take out Frieza. The only time v Vegeta's really going to get his moment is when he gets to take out like the very end, the final one. Um, do I think that's going to happen? Probably not. Would I like to see it happen? Yes. But I think the best case scenario we have is them working together because even though Vegeta powered up, and we have we, we still don't even have an understanding of like where it is power-wise. I think, who did Roshi or Krillin make the statement that Vegeta's new transformation is on par with Goku's Kaioken? Um, but we know it's not power enough, powerful enough for Vegeta one-on-one. I mean, for Jiren one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so... What I would like to happen is to see them work together. I keep saying this. We're probably not going to see it. Vegeta, like, tap into Ultra Instinct for, like, 10 seconds. Just tap into it for, like, 10, 20 seconds. And he just, like, they just, like, blitz Jiren to the very edge. And then, like, Vegeta can't sustain it anymore. And he passes out. And Jiren goes for, like, the final blow. And the time just ends. And, like, the Grand Priest comes in and, like, stops it. But what I think is going to happen is, um... Vegeta's going to do something and get knocked out. It's going to spark Goku to save the day and pop up. He's going to get a new transformation, whether it's both offense and defensive Ultra Instinct. He finally masters the Ultra Instinct. Because um, Jiren doesn't have Ultra Instinct. I think Jiren is just this powerful. Um, and I think Frieza will just be there at the end, and we'll win with two fighters more, and they'll forget about Frieza. Noble Pride to the end. Vegeta Falls. That's what we're naming the episode? Yikes, right? Now, 
And the reason I say that is because they set it up so perfectly with Goku, like, passing out at the end of last episode. When they both stood up right here, when Goku just fell, he's at his limit right now. He's going to tap into it, and we know how it goes. We'll see. We'll see. Got the slushy going. It's always going to be a good time. No matter how many weaklings gather against absolute strength, it's pointless. Vegeta Sama will. Oh no. He doesn't have any power left. No usual transformation this time. He's in straight base. Oh my god, this is laughable. This isn't even like sparring practice worthy. This is like Jaren eyes closed. Mm. He couldn't even power up to Super Saiyan. Like, when's the last time you saw that? Usually they're always good for a Super Saiyan at least. He couldn't even turn that on. Stamina, Ultra Instinct. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Flashbacks. Kaba. I'm going to win and resurrect you lot with the Super Dragon Balls. Bulma. Baby Trunks. Man, where Vegeta's come from to where he is now is crazy. Give him his moment, will you? And the newborn. That's what he's fighting for. Now turn it on. I need the Ultra Instinct. I need something. Don't have him go out like this. Not like this. That music. I'm just waiting for it, man. Show me something. He's still in base. That music keeps going. He's just going to keep getting back up. It's crazy seeing Krillin, like, cheer for Vegeta and stuff like this. Wow, his eyes bruised shut. One of you rarely see that. I mean, I feel like at any time, Jiren could just end this. Oh my god. Goku, you're of no damn help. Oh my god, he hit him with that. Beerus meets Goku. <laughs> Ultra instinct clap 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 Just don't have him go out like this 
He's going to stop. I was about to say, there's no way he just lets you snap that. He can't even go Super Saiyan. How drained is this man? And Goku can't get off the ground. Stop it. This is, it's it. Who just grabbed him? Frieza? Jiren? Goku? Like, I'll take it as Jiren. He didn't... Nobody grabbed him. He's still touching part of the fighting stick. That's one of my biggest pet peeves, is that we didn't wipe the stage clean and, like, reset it. That flipping god, when that Vegeta piano kicks in, flipping love it. I just have a feeling they're just going to use Vegeta to prop Goku up. Goku's going to see how hard he's fighting and in his base form, and we know he's not going to do anything, and Goku uses that to, like, stand up and give it a try and unlock Ultra Instinct, and maybe I'll be surprised. Do we even know if Frieza is alive? But even if I told you, an emotionless bastard like you would never understand what it means to fight to protect something. He's like, I mean, he's conscious, but he's like just unconsciously like keeping himself standing. That final flash is going to be laughable, honestly. Man, if I lose 17 in Vegeta in back-to-back -back episodes, that's a tough one. And that's what it's looking like here, sadly. I at least acknowledge your great pride. Like, if this isn't being pushed, like, past your limits, I don't know what is. Like, what do you need for Ultra Instinct these days? No, it's not. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. He's crying. No. Don't tell me you just gave him, like, the last year energy and you're out. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I don't care about Goku standing up. I need to know what just happened. And this is going to be the halfway point. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to be pissed if that's how Vegeta goes out. That was the most non anti climat Wow. Wow. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. So dumb. People were complaining like the 17 dying and everything was rushed and stupid. 
and Topo's like power up was a waste and dumb. That was dumb. That was dumb. We got no Ultra Instinct, Vegeta, no nothing. We got a power up that didn't even do anything. Wow. So dumb. I don't get it. Like, that'll ruin a whole tournament arc right there, how you end it. And right now, unless this ending turns out to be amazing, that one, like, 12 minutes could just dampen a whole arc. We know Jiren's not even trying. We knew that wasn't going to work. And there goes the last bit of power that Vegeta gave him. Yep, that's gone. Where is Frieza? Vegeta just tried this in base. Not going to be much of a difference. He's just eating blows just like Vegeta was. No difference. Oh, that's nice to see. The other gods, haven't seen them talk in, what, 20-something episodes? They're setting up the Ultra Instinct, for sure. Like, they're just draining this man. He's fading. He's going to pass out again and then resurrect. I think he's just like standing up unconscious. Is Freeze going to come and use his last little bit to keep him in? Ultra Instinct right here for sure. 100%. 100%. He's going to die. Yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah. The Ultra Instinct is going to turn on. See, this is what I wanted for Vegeta. Why show all of those Vegeta flashbacks of like him thinking of Kaba and all them, and then Vegeta not even getting to power up to his new form at least 
it was all put. You should like you should have just punched Vegeta off in the first place and saved yourself the ten minute animation budget. There it is. Oh shit! <laughs> I mean, it still looks clean and it looks great though. There it goes. But Jiren hasn't powered up fully against this form yet. That red aura that he showed last episode and everything. Wow, he got him. Shit. How long does he have in that form? I mean, the tournament doesn't have, what, more than two minutes left? You think he can hold that for the rest of the tournament? Wiz is so happy. Beers is pissed. Ultra Instinct 2. That damn Goku. How many times is he going to surpass his limits? Uh, Start it back up at 2225. How incredible. Is that how the episode ends? Now, is there any difference in this Ultra Instinct than the last two times he did it, though? Looks like he's given off a lot more heat. Jiren, are you going to power up against it this time, or having been pushed past its limits? Goku's body once again awaken Ultra Instinct. Will be the last one on the fighting stage. They're definitely, definitely saving something. The Universe Fate is on the power of the line tournament. Two minutes left. And that's it. Um... They're definitely, definitely, 100%, I mean, maybe it's already come out in a spoiler summary, saving something involving Frieza for sure. Um, the fact that he's not been mentioned, he's clearly not knocked off because he hasn't shown up um, in the stage. There's been no mention of him being killed or anything. He's clearly on the stage somewhere. They said there's two minutes left. If I could see the end of the tournament happening, Goku and Jiren are going at it clock's running down two minutes two minutes right at the very end goku's ultra instinct runs out like right at the very end i'm talking like less than 15 10 seconds left jiren uses that last second to knock goku off jiren and so jiren's been like completely drained like goku maybe Go, goku has it mastered but he can't hold it he just has it mastered he has a grasp on it and jiren is completely drained like jiren can barely stand frieza comes out of nowhere and like death beams him in the back or comes down and drop kicks him off the stage, and Frieza ends up winning the tournament. Um, but then you fall into the what happens with the wish, because you would think that Frieza's wish is going to be, I want to resurrect myself, and you only get one wish. Um, I saw a lot of theories flying around that that exact same scenario of what, happen of what I just said happens, um, and Frieza wins. And um, the time limit that um baba gave frieza his 24 hours of being alive his time limit runs out 
So right when he's maybe about to make his wish or something like that, he just like evaporates and gets like sent back to hell or something like that. So then Universe 7 ends up winning, but the winner doesn't end up getting to make his wish. So then what happens at that point? I have no idea. Maybe at that point, Zeno's like, ah, that was a great tournament. Um, and like claps his hands and all the universes come back to life. Um, I don't know. That's what I see happening um, for the end. Um, as far as that episode goes, I thought it was just a throwaway episode, honestly. The episode did absolutely nothing other than just eliminate Vegeta and set up Goku for Ultra Instinct, which you could already see the um, Ultra Instinct getting set up with how drained Goku was. Um, maybe you disagree, maybe I'll get a lot of hate for not enjoying the episode, but I have a feeling the last like three or four episodes have been complete bangers. That was just, I don't know, I... I just feel like they just they just waste they wasted the whole Vegeta storyline of the tournament. I guess his real shining moment was eliminating Topo. And maybe you say that's a big like that's a big deal because if it was God of Destruction Topo running around with Jiren, we would have no chance. Um, I thought the way they eliminated Topo, I thought it was okay. I thought it was like setting up Vegeta. I was like, that's great. I thought the way Seventeen went out was amazing the fact that like he self like straight up died on the scene i was like what a great way for the best player in the whole tournament to go out the way vegeta just went out right there was i don't know i thought it was a complete waste honestly the fact that like he had all those flashbacks was thinking about his kids and thinking about kaba and he cried on the scene and didn't get to fulfill his wish and he that didn't even trigger like a, just a base super saiyan form even one more go of like his limit breaker form were like a hint, even a drop. You're th a drop of Ultra Instinct. You think if a man can't even turn on Super Saiyan, like how much power does he have? He couldn't even block or throw punches. Um, when I saw the title of the episode, I'm like, okay, we might lose Vegeta here, but maybe he'll go out in like a dynamic fashion, like pushing his limit breaker form and all this stuff. I mean, they just wasted the whole like first 12 minutes of the episode. Honestly, I thought it thought it was all right. Um, the episode as a whole, it was okay. Um, of course, I mean, the more and more you see Ultra Instinct, the more it's cool. Because, like, we don't know anything about it. Everybody always speculates about it and tries to, like, rank its power level. And we've gotten no explanation. And every time you see it, it's like, oh, shit, there it is again. So, like, that was... The second half of the episode was cool to see Goku... Not even the second half, the last, like, two minutes. That was cool to see... Um, the Ultra Instinct get turned back on, but besides that, I mean, I thought the episode, it was okay. It was all right. Let me know if you agree with me, you disagree with me. I mean, feel free to um, leave your comments down below. We can go back and forth about it. I just thought the way they used Vegeta's ending right there, that, now I understand what people were saying about the Topo thing. They felt like his ending was rushed just because they're on a deadline. They can't leave him in. The tournament's got to end. I didn't have a problem the way with Topo went out because of who, of like how it was set up. Um, I had a problem with that though. So it is what it is. We'll try again next week. Um, also wanted to say with this ending, I'm going to put a poll up on my little community post after this episode goes up. Um, Dragon Ball Super only has like three episodes left. I have like less, I have about 10 episodes left of My Hero Academia season two. Boruto is really like mm, right now um so in a little while here we're only gonna have Boruto on the channel so I want to try to pick up two more animes here while Dragon Ball Super goes away and until My Hero Academia starts back up season three until Tokyo Ghoul comes back so I'm gonna list like four or five animes that you guys have like requested for me to check out I'm gonna put that in a poll a little voting thing you guys vote there. I think I'm going to list like four or five. Whichever two get the most votes, I'm going to um, go with that. So I'm going to leave, I'm gonna let tonight, I'll actually, mm, I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. I mean, people have said One Piece. I don't know what the hell Mob Psycho is, but a lot of people have been saying that. Um, One Punch Man. Uh, so we'll have those three. And I'm trying to think what else is... Some people have said, like, Hunter Hunter, haven't gotten that much. And there's a couple other ones that I'm just completely forgetting. Um, 
So I'll put up the poll like 30 minutes after this video goes up. If you have an anime you want me to check out or to be in the voting, list it down below. I'll put those as a couple of the options too. Um, whichever two get the most votes, we'll pick up those animes, watch them as we're watching Boruto until some other uh, animes pick back up. So again, let me know what you thought of the episode. Check for that poll like 30 minutes to an hour after this video goes up. Um, and we'll go from there. Like, share, favorite, subscribe. And as always...